Can I can I give you a gift? A life work. What's that? It's a, it's a book. Yeah. That's a, a gift for you, bro. What's the question? Which which chapter, please? Fifteen. Which book? Acts. Sorry. Acts fifteen. Acts fifteen twenty nine. That you abstain from things sacrificed to idols, from blood and from things strangled and from fornication. If you keep yourselves free from such things, you will do well. Do well. What's the question? That's perfect. People like Christian are eating a lot. Yeah. Pudding. Yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah. 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 It's okay because we aren't given. I know. It's exactly like what. Uh, you just went anyway. Yeah. Eternal. Yeah. But if we are going as Christian, eat anything. We can eat like human being as well. Yeah. So but I think from all this, why God we give it peace? Because. Sorry, are you asking a question? Yeah, yeah. This is a question. Yeah. So all, all together, but like if you are going to be allowed to eat everything, you could eat even human being. Not every. All, all things are permissible, but not everything's profitable. There is a, there is a, there's a, there's a, the, the, the brother's asking a question about the fact that if Christ has declared all foods clean, does that mean we can do cannibalism? Does it expand to cannibalism? And the answer is, of course, no. And the reason why it is, of course, no, is firstly, because when Jesus is declaring all foods clean, to his audience, the things that were considered unclean were the things that were considered unclean in the Mosaic Covenant. So that is the, that is the dichotomy that he's speaking into, the things that Moses said were unclean. Now, the question about eating human beings, basically Christ's, and the, the Christ's commandment and the vision given to Peter restrict the question about what we eat to questions of health, to questions of health. So it's not about doctrine, it's not about this food makes you holy or this food makes you unholy. It's about what's good for you and what is not good for you. And as we learn, I used to love bacon and sausage, but the more I learned about bacon and sausage, the less I decided to eat it. Why? Because I re recognize that it's really bad for you, you know? I used to like beer. I never was a big drinker, but now I drink and now I drink even less because it's a question of health. Now, the brother asks about the the letter that was given at the count, first council of Jerusalem, which was a pastoral letter. A pastoral letter imposing a discipline on the church. Why was it imposing that discipline on the church? because the early Jewish church was really struggling with the idea of Gentiles eating foods that they were not supposed to eat. And other Gentile believers who had converted were struggling with the idea that Christians were eating animals sacrificed to idols. And so as a way of not scandalizing those brothers of weaker conscience, the early church imposed a pastoral discipline on the early church so as not to scandalize Jewish believers and not to scandalize early converts from paganism. However, circumstances have changed. Jewish believers these days are not scandalized. There is no pagan foods in this country being offered to idols. But on saying that, Christians have the freedom of conscience. It's taught in the letters of Paul that you should do that which your conscience accords. So if a food is unclean to you, don't eat it. This is why the brother has the right not to eat meat if he doesn't want to eat meat. Even if he agrees with everything I, would, I said I about advise, the Bible. I wouldn't advise anyone to eat. That's when fine. I, when you say meat, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. So, so, flesh and meat one second. Thing. So, brothers, brothers, you don't like to use flesh. we have, we have no, the meat. freedom of our conscience to choose whether we eat meats or not. I choose not to eat halal meat because I don't want to 
eat meat that is offered in the name of a false god. I know a brother that even though he accepts that Christians can drink alcohol, he himself will not. And so whenever we go out and socialize, we never go to a pub because of his weaker conscience. You see, this is, I don't want to disturb Bob, but this says, and they, they shall eat flesh in that night roast with fire. So if you're going to... So we can eat meat then? If you're going to, no, we eat, no, you see, roast. Bro, bro, what the Bible says, the Bible says is rose with fire. And Brother. I tell you why. When you're doing sacrifices, it's a day, it's a day, it's a it's a specific day that they sacrifice. And what they are providing is for their God. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So when I don't think so that these people need to do that, but I see a movie now and in brother, in this very verse that in Acts in Acts 15 verse 29. It assumes the eating of meat. No, but this is it assumes. What you're saying, no, so. brother, no, look. It says it right here. Look. We're in two that you ab that you abstain to from things sacrificed to idols, which in other words means that if it's not sacrificed to idols, you can eat okay. it, and from blood, and from things strangled. So this assumes that you can eat meat. Okay. Because how can you strangle a banana? And I want to I wanna say, I want to read this. I want to read Exodus um, 12, verse 8 and 9. It says, And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Right? And then in 9 it says, Eat not of it raw, nor sudden, means cook. That's what you're saying. Sudden means cook, like boil. It all in water. water. Eat not of it nor sudden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. So everything must, anything that you put, anything that you put into your body must be roast with fire, because the fire is the purification of all things. But do we agree that we can eat meat? Flesh. Can we eat meat? Meat is anything that you eat with, with food. Can we eat meat? Because meat, meat is not flesh. Brother, th there is a point, there is a point. Brother, there is a... It's meat. Fish is brother, meat. but not flesh. Not flesh. Brother, there is a point at which you just have to accept the evidences against flesh you. Flesh is different from meat. But do you agree it's talking about... Do you, do you agree that it's talking about animals here in verse 29? Yeah, yeah animals, yeah. Right, flesh, so we flesh. can eat meat. No. So we can't eat meat, but unless we can eat burnt, animals. Unless it's burnt with fire. So we can eat meat. Flesh. So we can eat we meat. Eat meat. I eat meat. Yes, can we eat meat? I, we all eat meat. Can we eat animal meat? Even... No, you're not supposed to. Right, he's saying we're not... This is, this is the problem. This is why I'm saying... And br what's your brother? Prince. Prince, Prince, you don't believe in the New Testament. I do. No, you don't, because the New Testament it's is saying... It gives is you saying, a choice, a yes, human it, being. Right. It gives you a perfect Great, choice. but can I, I eat that. meat? Of course you can. Animal meat? Yes. So it's not wrong it's for a Christian to eat animal meat? It's not wrong. Great. It's a then we are agreed. A, we agreed. Then we agreed. We then we agreed. Long time, but I'm saying it's a personal choice of what Then we agreed. Put. The body is your temple. I agree, it is a personal choice. Because there's people that eat crab, snake, right. dog. But here's the... It's a personal choice but, at the end of the day. So, I, eat, I eat ackee and saltfish. Okay. I eat, you know, I eat, I, eat, I eat fish that the Bible says if you're going to eat fish, it needs to have... Um, Thin. Brother, I think, I think we've agreed that, that we can eat animal meat. You interrupted me, and if I shout, because it's your problem. No, can you carry on about my question? About, uh, what, was, I, what was your specific <laughs> question? Egg. Oh, you, that's you the word. About eating, like, <laughs> that's the word. I don't know. Yes. Yes. So the question, the question is, does the, does the canon of the First Council of Jerusalem still stand today. And there is disagreement amongst Christians. There are some Christians who are a minority that believe that this canon still holds. There are, m the vast majority of Christians believe that this canon does not hold today. And the reason is because of the circumstances. It talk, it's talking about the meat that was killed connected to animal sacrifices and to the pagan ideas about drinking blood which is if that you drank the blood you drank the vitality the spirit the life of the creature it it entered into you
Israelites in a in a kind of eat. witchcraft. Israelites never used to eat flesh. And so and so and so, Christians are free to follow their conscience. That is the answer to your question. As long as if you their the conscience, if their conscience says that they can eat blood pudding, then they can eat it. If their conscience says that they cannot eat it, then they can't eat it. What's important is that they do it for the glory of God. But what also is in Scripture is that you don't do things to scandalize brothers of weaker conscience. So if a Christian that you are with, for whatever reason in his mind, is scandalized by you eating blood pudding or drinking alcohol, then in his presence you don't do that thing until he has learnt the fullness of the freedom that he has in Christ and owns that fullness of the freedom for himself. That is the New Testament purview. The early church was passing a pastoral discipline on the early church because at the very beginning of the church, when it was bringing Jews and Gentiles together, there were different groups being scandalized. Jews were being scandalized by Gentiles eating non-Mosaic foods, and some pagan Gentiles were being scandalized by Christians eating meat that had been offered in the temples and then been sold in the meat markets. And so the pastoral discipline was abstain from these things. But those circumstances no longer exist. How about eggs? How about eggs? eggs? Christians can eat everything. The question is whether everything is good for you to eat. And not everything is good for you to eat. There are some things like bacon, which I personally love, especially when accompanied by cheese, that is just not good for you to eat. So I don't eat it. But I'll eat a pork, a pork uh, steak. Our body, our body structure, because obviously when you was in the mountains, Carcass Mountain, you had, to, you had to eat flesh so that you had to withstand the cold. So that's why people eat flesh. It is, flesh is to add more extra, extra protein into your body yeah. by the blood of animals. I agree. Not, Our diet, I agree the diet of the, the Western man is distorted. There's too much meat and not enough veg and grains. Thank you. Protein from meat should probably be eaten in very small quantities. Very small. Because, but, but, but there's nothing morally wrong in doing so. So what was the change? Brother, if we agree that there's nothing wrong in morally doing so, why do you persist in this conversation? No, I'm not persisting. I, we've both agreed that there's nothing morally wrong in eating meat. But it, as, as I said, the children of Israel never used to eat flesh. And then when they went into the yes, desert... Yes, they did. No, they didn't. And that's how I called into this. And then they murmured, they murmured that they were hungry and, and God sent them... Um, God sent them quails. What are quails? Quails are birds. What's birds? Flesh. Animal flesh. So the, the Israelites in the desert ate meat. They ate quails. Not just qu any old quails. Quails delivered by God himself. There's no, there's no scripture that says that. Yes, there is. Look up quails in your search engine in Exodus. Quails. Q-A-I-L. S quails. Exodus 16, 13. You see, bro, the thing is, you, you, I, I, with, why, with why loving you respect... KJV? Why don't you get a KJV? That with lo no, what, with, that's, 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 that's with, with loving, loving respect, with loving respect, you don't know the Bible as well as you think you do. Oh, no. Exodus 16... 30. Exodus 16, 33. Learning. That's fine, bro, and I, I encourage you to learn. But, but also have the humility to learn no, and take on board new. Fantastic. But well, you don't have the humility. Well, yeah, I mean, it's something I could probably work on. I am. 1613. So 1613. He's right. I need to work on my humility. So it came about at evening that the quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew evaporated, behold, the surface of the wilderness there was a fine flake-like thing, fine as the frost on the ground. When the sons of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, 
It is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather of it every man as much as he should eat. You shall take an omer of a piece according to the number of persons each of you has in his tent. The sons of Israel did so, and some gathered much and some gathered little. They then measured it with an omer. He who gathered much had no excess, and he who gathered little had no lack. Every man gathered as much as he should eat. Moses said to them, let no man leave any of it until morning. But they did not listen to Moses, and some left part of it until morning, and it was bread worms and became foul. And Moses was angry with them. So God delivered birds to eat in the desert. So we can eat meat. The right. Israelites ate meat, right. but there's nothing wrong in you being a vegetarian. Nothing, nothing wrong at all. I, I, find, I find a lot wrong with people that eat flesh though. But I understand, you can, people can eat whatever they want to eat. The Bible commands you not to judge your, another man's servant. So if you're finding something wrong with me because of what I eat, you're judging another no, man's would, servant. As I said, I would suggest, that's what that's, I use specifically, like I would suggest yeah. people not to. Yeah, I, I'm I agree. Saying, I'm not saying that. I, 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 I'm won over to the idea of eating less meat. Yeah. And then, and then you'll find that you'll find that your system, because when you eat flesh, you vibrate on a lower frequency. Now, when you don't eat flesh, you vibrate on a higher frequency. Yeah. And your knowledge and your mind thinks different. Prince, can I just be honest with you? This conversation for me is now boring. Yeah. No, it's. Fine. It's kind of like there's nothing to talk about. It's fine, but like we we you, we've done it to death. We've got we, we we we've done it. Are you? What's a sheer interest, yeah, regarding the Trinity, okay? What, what I would say to you though, Prince, is, Prince, take away this idea of reading the Bible through covenants.